it is October, 31 days of Halloween. These are the movies I'm watching. Uh, let's dive in. First one, uh, Night of the Living Dead. Absolutely love this film. <laughs> really looking forward to diving in on this. Uh, first watch on the Criterion. Uh, next is Dawn of the Dead. Another excellent set. I've had it for a little while and I've waited for this month to watch it. Uh, next one is a new purchase. Never seen it before. Audrey Rose, uh, Anthony Hopkins. Really looking forward to this one. Classic. Love this comedy. Scout's Guide uh, to the Zombie Apocalypse. Absolutely adore this movie. Uh, next one, I've been watching it since it came out. Interview with a Vampire. But it's been many years since I've revisited it. So this is the year. Next one is Species. Uh, they made several of these films. But this is the only one that I really get into. Uh, this is kind of my favorite. Uh, next one is Phantasm. Now, I've not seen the rest of the uh, movies in this franchise. It's the only one I've ever seen. Really do enjoy this one. Love that cover art. Uh, so again, you know, it's a staple for me for October. Next one is a, a newer favorite is uh, Happy Death Day. Really enjoyed this one. Uh, second one, it's okay, but really do like this first one. Next one is uh, Wes Craven outing uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. Uh, this one, I know it, it missed a lot of people, but oh man, this was just great in the 90s. Absolutely love it. Here's a new one. It's a 4K. Now, I swear that I picked this up at the dollar store because like it's a movie I've never heard of. It's a horror movie. It's got some horror classics, some great guys. You got Stephen Lang, Willem Sadler, uh, Martin Cove and Fred Williamson. So you have this. It's VFW. A bunch of guys. They get locked in the VFW. Some bad stuff happens and it was listed as a horror movie. So let me know in the comments down below if it is or isn't. But looking forward to getting into this one. Uh, next one is a VHS I picked up a while ago, uh, and it's a Hammer Horror. I'm kind of ex trying to expand out of the Hammer Dracula and get into the rest of it. So we got Frankenstein Created Woman, Peter Cushing, You Can't Go Wrong. Another Hammer Horror, Peter Cushing, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed. So this one is brand new, never opened, so I'm going to be looking forward to getting into this one. Now, number 13, clearly, Friday the 13th happens this year uh, in October. So I'm going to be getting into the whole entire marathon, but I'm counting this as one because obviously I'm going to watch number one on Friday the 13th for sure. I'm going to marathon these until I'm done. I'm going to watch other movies in between, but every day I'm going to try to knock out this list of 31. 14 would be one I've had for years, Night Watch. It's been brand new, never opened. Um, looking forward to opening this one and diving into it. Here's another one. Uh, the only thing I can ever say about it is if you like Clue, it's kind of like this. Uh, kind of funny. Got a great cast. Peter Falk is in this. I don't remember everybody that's in it, but it, it's in the same vein as Clue. Not exactly as funny, but it's in the same vein. Really enjoyed this one. Uh, next one is Brian De Palma's Sisters. Uh, great film. Really enjoyed it and looking forward to getting into this one again. Uh, I watch it a lot. I, even, I don't think I watched it last year, so we're going to watch The Craft. I do have it on Blu-ray, so we're going to watch it on VHS this year. This one is one of my favorites. Great film. And uh, I think it's one of Dick Miller's last, uh, Burying the X. Uh, really enjoyed it. So you got Anton Yelchin, Ashley Green, and Alexandria Daddario. Uh, just a great cast. And again, I think it's Dick Miller's last. Let me know if it is or isn't. Rosemary's Baby. Now this one, uh, I'm not a slipcover guy. I'm not a huge fan, but I do like the art on that. And here's obviously, there's the original art. So this is um, the 4K. I wish I had the Criterion version of this one. I, I kind of missed out on it. Uh, I would honestly trade this 4K for the Criterion, but this is what I have uh, and I don't mind owning it. Uh, the Witches of Eastwick. So this is a Jack Nicholson, uh, Cher, Susan Sarandon, Michelle Pfeiffer. Just an excellent, fun, I think it's 80s. Is this one the 80s? Oh, man, yeah, 1988. So this one came out in 1988. Uh, great cast, super fun. Just going to enjoy diving into this for a spooky season. Uh, here's one I haven't seen in a few years. It's a Joe Dante outing, and it's The Howling. Another great film. I watched it when I was really little, and so I didn't remember all the like super bad parts, but I do remember watching it. And uh, I'm gonna be revisiting again. Uh, it's been a couple years, so looking forward to that one. Uh, this one here, I, I haven't watched it because it's been in this case just sitting on the shelf and I just never think of it. It is Prom Night. It says, hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. 
So I'm not sure if this is the one that has um, Jamie Lee Curtis or not, but uh, I don't know. I'll be diving into it. Uh, now, this one I recently watched this year. I had picked up the Blu-ray, but then I found the VHS, and so I had to have it. And it's The Fearless Vampire Killers, another Roman Polanski film. So I'm knocking out two Roman Polanskis this month. Uh, and this one, I just, I really enjoyed it. This was just some really fun. Uh, then we have, this is a very underrated film, Stir of Echoes, Kevin Bacon. You can't go wrong with Kevin Bacon. Uh, but this is a very underrated horror film. Uh, Poltergeist, this is another one. Excellent. I really enjoy having the 4K. If you do like Poltergeist, I recommend upgrading to the 4K, but I do enjoy this film. Next one is Return of the Living Dead, another one I really enjoy and looking forward to this one. I don't have the second one, but I do have the third one and this one. And then I'm going to do the Scream Marathon. So again, I'm going to watch them as I get them done, but uh, it'll be in there. So Scream and then in between, I might watch a few others. Uh, the next one is another comedy, uh, Warm Bodies. I'm going to knock this one out this month. I enjoyed it. I've watched it, you know, almost not every year, but every once in a while, enjoyable film. Uh, this is a first watch for me. I saved it for October, and it's uh, Bela Lugosi, Island of the Lost Souls. This is a Criterion pickup from the last sale. Uh, I've been looking forward to getting into this one. And... We have Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the original one. Uh, I think I like this one a little bit better than the, the 70s remake. Uh, even though I'm a big fan of 70s cinema, and I do have a place in my heart for that one, this one is probably my favorite. Uh, and on the 31st, I have to watch Halloween. And then if I watch this one, I have to do the marathon. So that takes me into November. This one here, it's one of my favorites. I have to watch it every single Halloween. Uh, and I'm just not sure when, because I do have to take my kid out this year for Halloween trick-or-treating but I'll be probably getting into this right afterwards. Check out this list here for the family-friendly Halloween movies that I'll be watching all month long. With that, let me know uh, if my list matched any of the ones on your list or if there's something you had never even heard of before. But with that, watch a movie today, and I'll catch you next time.